Hi, I'm Jasmine Jones and you're watching Visions TV Online. Hello and welcome to Visions TV Online. I'm here with Jasmine Jones. Um, we've just seen the fabulous performance that she has just done. Um, I just want to know, um, what was your inspiration for your performances this evening? Uh, it was around the theme ABBA. So uh, it was basically me meditating on ABBA Father. And I started off thinking, wow, that's such a big thing. Um, how am I going to put that into a song? And um, so I basically just started to write down my feelings and my thoughts about Abba and about my relationship with him and how through my life it's grown and specific points of when he made himself, um, when he came into my life for the first time. Um, so each song represented a different part of my journey, I suppose I can say like that. And... Um, I suppose you can't contain ABBA into a song. It's such a, a huge thing. Um, he is awesome. So, But yeah, it was just meditating and looking back over my life and um, hearing what the Spirit's saying and just writing from that, that place. Yeah, I was going to say, um, how important is it to capture um, where you are in that season to make sure that you know where you are, that you're writing it and you're giving it out to people? How important is that for you? It is important uh, because I feel like people go through the same thing and sometimes when people are going through something they think they're the, they're the only ones going through it. So to be able to write a song that other people will be able to connect with, it's kind of like opening a new door for them to maybe get freedom from that place or see it from a different perspective. Um, so yeah. It's, it's, very, it's, a very, it's a very brave thing as well to be able to express yourself, to put yourself open to so many people and say, actually, I've gone through this and this is how I feel about it. Because um, you don't always know how people will take it, but it's so important for you to actually express exactly how you feel. So that is amazing um, that you've, you've been able to do that. Um, you know what? I think the more honest we are, you know, the happier we are. You know, when we hide, when we hide stuff, I think we put ourselves in a cage. And I think if, if we can show examples of just being open and honest, that will encourage other people to do that. And, you know, no one's perfect and we all struggle. And I think um, that's the beauty of, of, of creating something that will allow a safe place for others then to be like, actually, yeah, why am I hiding? So... Um, I think the more you experience the love of God and know that you're accepted by him and that you don't have to look for people's approval, um, it frees you up to express what you're feeling because you're not worried about what people are thinking. You, you, your perspective is different. Um, so I think that, that's, that's what gives me the freedom to do it, yeah. That just made me start thinking quite, quite a lot, actually, um, about how important it is to have that freedom and to be able to express who you are. It's so important. And I think sometimes we kind of just forget it. We we hide and um, we try and keep things to ourselves. But to be able to express it to other people allows that freedom. And then that makes you more open to hear from God because you're in a, the right place to be able to receive from him. Um, this is my first time coming to Unveiling and it's been such a wonderful experience um how many times have you is this your first time coming as well it's, not, it's my third time okay. yeah um and um how does it differ from other events that are out there um well i suppose unveiling every year has a theme and every year that theme changes and you've you're 
unlike other festivals that just say, hey, come and play, they're like, hey, this is the thing. We want you to create songs or material, or whatever your art is, around this theme. So that's what really sets Unveiling apart for me. It's like a challenge to create new, new things around the theme of the year. So um, the first year, I think it was Cornerstone, and the second year was Grace, and now ABBA. Whereas other festivals, they don't normally... I've never been in a festival where they've done that before, so, yeah. Um, I think that's a, um, a wonderful thing in itself because it then it allows you to kind of create another dimension of yourself around a, a topic that is um, important to the actual event and who may be there um, as well. So um, that's a wonderful thing. Um, <laughs> um, so... I saw you had a dancer um, today um, while you was performing. And in a way, I kind of was looking at you and then I was seeing the dancer and I was kind of thinking, it's almost like I had that moment yesterday actually that I was washing up and then I had the uh, music in the background and I was really dancing, letting loose. So it's almost like I saw you dancing to the music. So that was quite <laughs> amazing for me because I was like, yes. And then you did see the freedom there. You did see like someone letting go um, and then just giving everything, like just not caring about who's looking. So that was quite powerful. Um, I, I really took that t um, today. It, what was your, um, the meaning behind it? What was the reason why? Yeah. I think I just don't want to put uh, music in a box um, song dance and and i also had the the flags um to me it's all in an expression as one so i was just adding adding on to the song if i could i'd have way more things because uh, i feel like when you write a song it's like a a pencil drawing and then you can color it in by adding dances or lights um or imagery behind you or and it just it makes the experience greater, I think, for people that are coming. Um, and for me, I, I desire that every sense, if I could, I'd love every single sense, this, the senses of us to be um, triggered while I'm playing. If I could, I'd have like perfume, you know, and wind. And like, I, I would love that because I, I just think it will just make the experience so much more real because when I sing a song, I want people to enter in. I don't want them just to like watch it like a TV screen. So the whole point of the dance and stuff is to allow people to try and come into the motion, into the song, feel the song, let it sink a bit more. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about Share Your Gold? Sure. So I just started this um, campaign and I'm asking people to share their gold and um, I'm filming it, putting it on Instagram. So it's hashtag share your gold. So people are saying what is gold in their life and why? Um, I think a lot of the time we don't really um, give thanks or give recognition to the people that, that are really great in our lives. We take them for granted and stuff like that. So it's really just a platform for people to share their hearts and to you know, say why they appreciate um, their loved ones or their pet or themselves, whatever, I've had crazy answers. Um, and it's connected with gold, my EP Gold as well. So, um, and that's all about finding the gold, the love of your life. So, yeah. And, and where can we find you? So you can find me on Facebook, uh, Jasmine Jones, and no E on Jasmine. Also on Twitter and Insta, Jasmine underscore Jones, and also hashtag share your gold. So, yeah. On all the platforms, really, you'll find me if you just search.